Democracy 2014 tonight. Muskogee City voters approved $15 million in capital improvement projects. City leaders say it will change the future of the community. Tunis reporter Patricia Santos is live in Muskogee tonight to show us how that money is going to be put to work. Patty. Well, thanks to the passage of that sales tax extension, the city's fire department here will be able to buy about 60 of these new breathing apparatuses. This is very important for the job, and this one here is about 15 years old and highly outdated. But this is just one of the many organizations that will benefit from that money. A lot of people run this light and stop some when the traffic ain't bad. So light might help a lot of wrecks or almost wrecks. Or Muskogee City resident Chrissy Kendrick was glad to hear a traffic light will soon be installed at this dangerous intersection. A lot of times we can't even get out of our parking lots. This is a big safety issue, absolutely, because when you have uh, people who are trying to turn uh, when the light's green to enter onto the viaduct, but yet there's nowhere to go because traffic is backed up. $250,000 of the approved capital improvement sales tax money will be put to work at the Court Street Viaduct. It means that uh, the voters have trust in the city officials. City Attorney Roy Tucker says the projects dealing with public safety and improvements are much needed. And there simply would have not been any, any money uh, in the fiscal budget to cover those expenses had this tax not passed. So this is a huge deal for the city. And, and it's a great victory for the community. The MLK Center Firefighters Department, Cootie Creek Sewer System, and the city's municipal airport will all see a piece of the $15 million. We think our municipal airport is on the cusp of um, some huge growth and expansion from private industry and, and more individuals who are interested in hanging their planes out there. That sales tax extension begins in October and will end in 2019. Coming up at 6, I'm going to tell you what the, uh, the city's mayor says will take priority. Live in Muskogee, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you. Thank you.